welcome friends today we are going to be making this beautiful traditional pearl beaded bucket bag it's really so pretty you can wear it to parties to dinners to weddings wherever you can make it and gift it to a friend or you can make it and sell it if you would like i happen to know how to make it and i'm here to teach you so stick around and let's find out now to begin we're going to need our pearl beads of course we're going to need these smaller gold beads which are in 8 mm our fishing line and cutter now first off i'm going to pour my beads in separate bowls i'm going to cut my fishing line to a comfortable length that i can work with don't be afraid of the fishing line running out you can always add more I'm going to start off with six white pearl beads and I'm going to pass them through one side of my fishing line. So I'm passing the six beads as you can see and then I'm going to be crossing on the last bead which is the sixth bead. So I'm going to take the other end of my thread and I'm going to cross it the opposite way as you can see and then I'm going to pull it down to form a ring of six. Okay, when I fold it down, this is what we currently have. I have a round pretty looking ring of six beads so far. And this is what we're going to use to begin to form the base of the bag. Next, I'm going to take the tip, the two tips of the fishing line like so, and I'm going to put them together. And I'm going to take one large white pearl and pass it through both fishing lines. Now, I'm not crossing it like I did the other time. I'm just passing both fishing lines through one pearl bead. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to turn it and put it in the middle of the ring of six. Like so. I'm just trying to get it to sit in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to pass my fishing lines through the opposite sides of the bead that is just um, ahead of the one that's in the middle. So when we put the one in the middle, we're going to have three beads on a, three, on a straight line. So I'm going to take both ends of the fishing line and I'm going to pass them through that next bead. So we can see the three beads on the straight line there. And I'm just going to take one end of the thread and pass it through one side. Like so. There was a little tangling here, so I was just detangling that. Now that I've passed one side, I'm going to take the other thread and pass it through the other side of my third bead. So I pass it through and then I pull it through. Now this makes the two threads come out on opposite sides of that particular bead. <clears throat> yep and um, that's what we currently have now so we have a little looking flower like design right here and this is going to help us form the base of our bag always make sure you pull your pattern you pull your thread when you're beading but for this particular bag don't pull too much because it could disfigure it some sort next we're going to take one gold bead, one pearl bead, another gold bead, another pearl bead, another gold bead. And this is what we're going to have. That's three gold beads and two pearl beads in this pattern. And then we're going to cross it on the gold bead. So you're going to take the other thread and pass it through the opposite side of the gold bead 
so it comes out at the other side and you're going to pull all the way and this is what you have when you do that okay now we're going to move forward next this is what you should have by now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the thread that is closest to the flower pattern this should be the thread on your right and you're going to pass it through the next bead the very next bead which is the bead i indicated right there we're passing through the next bead like so okay and then you're going to take one pearl bead one gold bead one pearl bead and one gold bead that gives you two pearl beads and two gold beads and then you're going to go ahead and cross on the gold bead Next, I'm going to take the thread yet again and pass it through the next bead just like we did previously and I'm going to repeat by adding one pearl, one gold bead, one pearl and one gold bead and then I'm going to cross on the gold bead. So I'm taking the other side of my thread and I'm passing it through the opposite side of the gold bead and I'm going to pull it all together and this is what I have so I'm going to pass the thread yet again and repeat that same process again one pearl one gold one pearl and one gold and cross on the gold bead okay it's, it's coming out pretty decent i'm going to repeat that process yet again because i'm trying to go around the initial ring of six so i'm going to repeat that process until i have gone around the entire pattern <music> at the end i am at the last bead here to close up this entire circle you can see we've been making a pattern and this is the very last bead we have and now i'm going to pass my thread on the next two beads that is i'm going to pass it through the next white pearl and also the next gold bead this way both threads are coming out from gold beads so we have the thread on the left coming out from a gold bead and the thread on the right also coming out from a gold bead as you can see okay now i'm going to close this up so that this next circle can be closed up and to do that i'm going to take two pearl beads and one gold bead I'm going to pass them through 
there's one pearl bead one gold bead and one pearl bead and then i'm going to cross on the pearl bead and voila i have closed up my circle and to continue now i'm going to pass the thread on to the next bead because we're going to go around again because we're trying to make a midi sized bag okay so we want it to be a little bit spacious i mean spacious enough to fit your phone or something valuable so i'm going to pass it on to the next bead and then i'm going to take one gold bead and two pearl beads and one gold bead and i'm going to be crossing on the gold bead we cross and then we pull don't be afraid of tangling guys it happens a whole lot just be patient with it and you'll be fine okay we pull and we have started to go around again we're going to go around this entire circle yet again but this time we're going to pass the thread through the gold bead alone just the gold bead pass it through the next gold bead okay And then we're going to take one pearl bead and one gold bead and we're gonna pass the pearl bead first and then pass the gold bead and cross on it we have to continue I'm going to pass the thread through the next two pearl beads like so don't forget we're passing it through the next two beads just like I did Next, I'm going to take two pearl beads and one gold bead. And then I'm going to cross on the gold bead. making progress next I'm going to be passing my thread through the gold bead alone I pass through the gold bead okay and then I'm gonna take one pearl bead and one gold bead so I pass one pearl bead and I pass one gold bead and I cross on the on the gold bead, my bad. So I cross on the gold bead and this is what I have. You can see it's forming a very pretty pattern right there. And I'm just going to go around the circle again with this same pattern. So I'm passing it through the next two pearl beads and then I'm taking two pearls and one gold bead and crossing on the gold bead. Okay, then next I pass on the next single gold bead. One go. 
fold and we repeat all the way around. to the end of the pattern and to end this pattern you can see we have three gold beads and our thread is already passed through one so i'm going to pass it through the next two gold beads i've passed it through the first and i'm going to pass it through the second gold bead like so and then I'm going to take one pearl bead and I'm going to cross the thread on this single pearl bead. Now this closes up the pattern and voila, we are done with our base. This is the entire pattern. This is what your base is supposed to look like. This is what we have and next we are going to start to build the body of the bag if you've come this far well done so we're going to pass the thread onto the next bead we are building the body of the bag now guys we're done with the base and to do that we pass the thread to the next bead of course and then we're gonna take one gold bead two pearl beads and one gold bead and we're going to be crossing on the gold bead okay we cross like so and yeah 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 we're beginning to build our bag Layer by layer, we're going to build this bag. So this is what we have. And next, we're going to take the thread and we're going to pass it through the next two beads. I was just finding the right, the best position to film this part right here. It was a bit difficult, but I just really wanted you all to be able to see what I was doing. Anyway, I'm passing the thread through the next two beads. It wasn't really so visible, but I hope you understood. So I pass through the next two beads. And I'm going to take <clears throat> two pearl beads. And one gold bead and then cross on the gold bead ok 
okay we're making some progress here we're going to pass on the next two pearl beads again again I had a little bit of thread tangling but I sorted that out then I'm gonna take two pearl beads and one gold bead and cross on the gold bead don't forget to just lightly pull your thread so the pattern is a bit firm and sturdy next i'm going to repeat that again i'm going to pass the thread onto the next two beads and then i'm gonna add on the opposite thread i'm going to add two pearl beads on the gold bead now I'm going to repeat this process till I go round the entire pattern I'm just going to be passing the thread closest to the base I'm going to be passing it to the next two beads and then I'm going to pass on the opposite thread. I'm going to pass two pearl beads, one gold bead, and cross on it. I'm going to repeat this all the way around until I get to the other end. Now that I've gotten to the end of the pattern, I'm going to pass my thread through the next two beads and I'm also going to pass it through the gold bead because I'm trying to close up the pattern now. I've gotten to the end, right? So I'm going to pass it through the next two beads and the gold bead. Don't forget the gold bead, guys. If not, you're going to mess it all up. The slightest thing drain your back guys and you don't want that so after i pass it through the gold bead we're going to have both threads coming out through gold beads you must have that i'm going to take two pearl beads i'm going to pass them through one side of the thread and i'm going to cross with the other thread like so i'm going to pull it together okay and guess what guys this means that we are done with the first layer of our bag okay and you're going to notice that part coming out a lot it's not going to stay put unless you pass the thread through the next bead so i'm just going to do that okay now this locks it in a lot more so it's going to hold a bit more and yeah this is our first layer 
this bag has about seven layers i think if i'm not wrong so we're going to begin building our second layer and to do that we take one gold bead two pearl beads and one gold bead and we're going to cross on the gold bead This is our third layer actually the third layer of the bag actually and then i'm going to pass through the next two pearl beads just like i did when i was building the second layer i'm going to pass it through and then i'm going to take two pearl beads and one gold bead and I'm gonna cross on the gold bead okay yeah this is what we have now and I'm going to repeat that pass through the next two pearl beads And guys, this is basically what you're going to be doing until you build enough layers that you're comfortable with. I think I, I made seven layers on this bag and this is just the third. So this is basically what you're going to be doing until you build as many layers as you want. If you want to do 10, that's fine. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I thought my thread was too short and I didn't want to continue with it so I was just going to end the thread and I'm not going to dwell so much on that because I have a video on how to end thread on my channel so you could go watch that you can apply that video to basically any bag the only difference with this is I actually did make some knots at some point so I tied the thread together this is because i was working with really large beads and i didn't want to risk it losing or anything so i just passed the thread around and then i did a knot at some point and then i still passed it around some more and then i cut it and i continued with my pattern i continued building my bag until i was satisfied so this is after i cut my thread I just got a new thread and I passed it through and continued building my bag. This is what we have when I had come far enough. I have, yeah, seven layers. So I built seven layers continuously. Now I'm going to attach the hand of my bag. As you can see, I have passed the thread through one bead. You can choose any bead, honestly any bit of your choice and i'm going to take the two sides of the thread together and i'm going to be passing 11 beads through so i passed 11 beads through it at first like so and honestly i tested it and i i felt it wasn't long enough <laughs> this was with 11 beads i just i wasn't satisfied and when i looked at it i was like eh. 
I could add one more bead so yeah I went ahead and I added one more bead to the hand just to make it a bit longer so I could be satisfied with what I have and I tried it and this looked a lot better for me so you can feel free to I mean work with as many as you want depending on how you want the bag to look I wanted the hand a bit longer so I worked with 12 pearl beads and this is just me calculating where I'm going to put it. It has to be on the bead that is directly opposite the one you chose. And if you count nine beads, I think it should um, lead you to the perfect bead. So it has to be directly opposite because you want it. You want your bag to be perfect. When you find your opposite bead, you're going to pass the thread on. You're separating the thread now, so you're passing one thread on each side of the bead like so and then this is just me fighting for my life here guys <laughs> i was trying to just you know make sure the hand is upright it's not entirely necessary to be honest but it just looks prettier to me that way so i wanted it to stand that is what i wanted i wanted my hand to stand and i was really fighting to get it to stand so to do that um your bag needs to be really firm so i just passed both sides of my thread apologies for my hand blocking the camera here but yeah i passed both both sides of my thread through the next beads just to bring both sides of the thread to a meeting point so this is me passing the thread around to a meeting point so that i can tie it that is why i was passing them to a meeting point guys i wanted to just have them together at a point like so so that i can pull it all the way and tie it and my hand can stand so when i got to a meeting point i actually did like a double knot and then i went ahead to hide the excess thread by passing it through multiple beads and then i cut it so this is me doing my double knot okay and i'm just going to pass it through the beading pattern that's the excess thread i'm just going to pass it through my beading pattern when i'm done with my knots and i'm gonna cut it this is me passing the excess thread through my beading pattern and this bag is so so pretty it's so simple and it's so pretty i went ahead to cut off my excess thread and this is what i had when i was done this is our bag it's actually so easy to make if you watch this the first time and you sit down with your beads and you watch it again while you're making it you're just you're definitely going to get it guys it's so easy to make thank you for watching please like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials have a very good day or week or whatever. <laughs> Bye.